smoke in your eyes. I am a ghost. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Pure Wrestling. My name is Chris Gamer 1025, and the road to WrestleMania has begun. It started with CJM. Now we're going to Pure Wrestling. What an incredible show CJM was, but now we're in Pensacola, Florida, live for tonight. I hope everybody heard my announcement last time. Uh, for the last episode, CJM, uh, I told everybody to watch both brands, watch CJM, watch Pure Wrestling, the lead up to WrestleMania. The brands will get better. Trust me, Pure Wrestling and CJM, it's only the beginning to season three. Season three is going to be much better. Both shows, I guarantee you, will be equal once again. But for now, the opening contest here, we're going to have Cody Rhodes versus Finn Balor here tonight. Of course, Cody Rhodes, nation's champion, gonna face the Demon King in Finn Balor. Next, we have Natalia versus Nia Jax here. Gonna take place. Nia Jax wants to take out every woman in the locker room. And let's see if she lives up to that promise here tonight against Natalia. Then, of course, the number one contender for the nation's championship, Curtis Axel versus Elias Sampson here tonight. We're going to have to see which one of these two men are going to be the better man in this matchup here tonight as they go head to head. An interesting matchup up next. We have Roderick Strong versus Kevin Owens. It's going to be a huge matchup between these two. They have never faced each other here in pure wrestling as of yet. So it's going to be a pretty interesting battle between these two men. And then, of course, Sami Zayn versus Aleister Black. These two collided at the Royal Rumble. And now we're going to see both of them collide in a one-on-one -on -one matchup yet again for the second time in pure wrestling. Which one of the two men are going to get a big win here tonight? Both these men, if they win this match, it's going to be huge for their career. It's going to work wonders, I guarantee you. So let's head off to the start of the show. We have... Finn Balor defeating Cody Rhodes in the opening contest and Nia Jax defeating Natalya in the second matchup here tonight. So let's go off to our third matchup is Curtis Axel versus Elias Sampson. And now the third match going on here. We're gonna have Curtis Axel in action once again. Curtis Axel is on this on this rise on this I should say on this road to make himself better make himself better than perfect once again and I think Curtis Axel is just proving it day in and day out he had a match with Tony Nese he beat Tony Nese he, had a, he now has a match with Elias Sampson here tonight Now we're going to see if uh, Elias Sampson has what it takes to defeat Curtis Axel. He hasn't had a major title shot like this ever since Night of Champions of last season. So it's pretty much been a year since he's had a big title shot like this. question is is Curtis Axel ready for the opportunity is he ready to become a champion finally in universe mode here's one man that disagrees with of course Curtis Axel is Elias Sampson as you see he's coming out here with guitar in hand and everything He's ready to take on his opponent here tonight. Elias Sampson, of course, a big tough competitor uh, that we haven't seen much of, but I can assure you that Elias Sampson, give him some time, let him adjust, 
and he will be champion very soon. And here we go, matchup gets underway as Curtis Axel already in the showing strong going, strong showing early on. Cranking the neck there of Elias right now. And Axel is not letting Elias rest. Look at this. He throwing the head right down to the mat. Oh my goodness, a rake to the eye. Come on, referee, can't tell me you couldn't see that one. That was right in your in your clear view right there. That was right on sight. I'll kick to the back there as Elias keeps taunting. An Irish whip for Axel. Throwing him overhead there now, going down. Going for those elbow shots straight to the head. Raining it down on Elias. And raining that knee right down to the back. Drilling it right down to Elias. Now Axel's going to think of another game plan here. What is he going to do? Flipping Elias around, but Elias is trying to get back up to his feet. What is he flipping him for? About to drop that knee again, it looks like. That better than perfect sign says it all. Curtis Axel trying to prove himself yet again that he is worthy of a championship here in Universe Mode. Oh, Irish whip again by Axel. This time to the turnbuckle. Are they going to go up to the top? Yes, they are. Curtis Axel has got him where he wants him here. Oh, look at this. Looks like a big suplex going on here to the center of the ring. Big suplex right down to the mat. Now picking him up. His opponent is lifeless right now. Curtis Axel, huge maneuver. Axel kicking right down to the back there. Knocking him silly. And here we go. Curtis Axel looks to finish this one off early on. Here we go. Curtis Axel taking Elias down. Face first, right into the mat. That's it. You can count to 10. There it is. Two. Elias Sampson just kicked out of Curtis Axel's finishing maneuver. I can't believe that one there. I thought Elias was out cold for good. Now Curtis, what, where's he going? Curtis Axel doesn't usually go up to the top like this. Oh my, he's taking it up. He's taking a big risk here. Oh, big elbow drop. Axel certainly doing it. this championship title hunt for his father. He said he's going to dedicate his WrestleMania match, his big mania match, to his late great father, that Mr. Perfect. And I absolutely can't wait for Curtis Axel to get his hands on Cody. Cody Rhodes is in for it when he faces Axel. But now Elias is taking his time trying to pick apart Curtis Axel here. Both of them staring into each other's eyes. And now, oh, with the reversals, Elias. Very quick, very smart by that man. Now going for the arm. Big elbow drop. The big knee to the back again. Oh, now looking to catch him off guard with that cover there. I don't know how 
effective that's going to be, but Curtis Axel is going to kick out of it, and you can see it on Elias' face. He does not know how. Well, you have to inflict more damage to pick apart your opponent. Back to that same turnbuckle yet again. This time, the shoulder straight into the gut of Elias. Sit out, power bomb, very nice, very effective. All snap mare there, and now going for Elias, targeting that area there. Don't mistake Curtis Axel's uh, confidence with cockiness. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, this man is very confident in his ability. Here we go for the second time, and this time Elias has to stay down. Ladies and gentlemen, Curtis Axel might be your new nation's champion when it comes to WrestleMania as he wins his matchup here tonight. And there you see it right there. Bam, right there. You can see it in Curtis Axel's eyes, the chance, the opportunity is right in front of him. What awaits is a chance, an opportunity at WrestleMania at the nation's championship. Curtis Axel might go into season three as champ, no doubt about it. He knows what this opportunity means to him and he's gonna take it no matter what. What a match, what a show put on by Curtis Axel here tonight. Well, you see here, Gallows and Anderson were issuing out a challenge. You guys are not man enough to put your number one contendership on the line against the Young Bucks next week over here at Pure Wrestling. That's right, if we win, we get your tag team title shot at WrestleMania, and we will become a two-time Federation Tag Team Champions. So what do you say, Gallows and Anderson, Young Bucks versus you guys next week for number one contendership. Let's see if you're man enough to even show up next week. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a challenge issued out by the Young Bucks. There you see it. Will Gallows and Anderson accept it for next week? Here we go with a spectacular match about to take place here. We have Roderick Strong versus Kevin Owens. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait for Roger Strong to get his hands on Kevin Owens. A man like Kevin Owens need to be taught a lesson. As you know what happened between him and Kurt Angle, of course. Roderick Strong here tonight. Can't wait to have this big main event deal matchup. Kevin Owens suffering a loss from Randy Orton two weeks ago. And now it looks like Roderick Strong is going to have a, a piece of Kevin Owens here tonight. Here comes KO. Kevin Owens is here. Former Pure Wrestling Champion Kevin Owens is going to come out and he's going to. Well, Roger Strong is going to see how much fight that he has in him right now. Fight Owens fight as it says on his t-shirt he will do anything and everything to become champion as we've seen before in the past Kevin Owens taking out Baron Corbin that little history lesson there and of course losing the championship all the way at Unforgiven I can't believe it ladies and gentlemen Kevin Owens He's not stopping without a fight.
And here we go. Bell has rung, and Kevin Owens versus Roderick Strong is going to take place right now. Oh, big Russian leg sweep there. Roger Strong just taking out his opponent on the early going of this matchup right now. Big knee to the back there. We've seen that time and time again. More effective as I see it. Oh my goodness, picking up Kevin Owens. The strength of Roger Strong. Oh my. Roderick Strong is incredible. The Messiah of the backbreaker, Roderick Strong. He's going to leave his mark here in pure wrestling, trust me. And for next season, mark my words, he will become champion yet again. As for Kevin Owens, oh, look at that. Big maneuver there from himself. Kevin Owens also wants to become champion once again. Cranking the neck of Roderick Strong. Kevin Owens has never faced Roderick Strong, but right now he feels like Roderick Strong's a big tough competitor. Oh, that senton that he can face as of late. Oh, Kevin Owens, a big, big maneuver from the top there. As Strong is going to pick him up, but Kevin Owens reverses. And now, Kevin Owens, Irish Whip, and huge spine buster. We saw that RKO out of nowhere from last time. That came out of nowhere, especially from that Irish Whip. It was incredible. Of course, we're setting up for the Puppa Powerbomb. Irish Whip hopped over RKO. Still can't get over it. I'm still talking about it. Kevin Owens is uh, working on Roderick Strong right now. There you see a sign in the crowd that said, Make him tap. That's how Kevin Owens lost the Pure Wrestling Championship. I guess that fan is a big Roderick Strong fan here tonight. Oh, big German suplex by the man himself. The prize fighter. Kevin Owens now to the, uh, to the turnbuckle. We're going to turn him around. Oh, got caught. Roderick Strong, I guess he's going to listen to that fan in that front row in that Sheamus shirt. Is he going to make Kevin Owens tap here tonight? No. Kevin Owens never lost the title by pinfall instead of tapping out. Now he's going to roll him over, but for what? Going for that arm there. Roger Strong looking to pick Kevin Owens up. Oh, wait, wait, look at this. Oh, go, go for the sick kick in the early going. The double knees to the gut. And now running across the ropes. Big sick kick right down to Kevin Owens. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Kevin Owens, he's rocked. He doesn't know where he's at. Here we go. Roger Strong. Now oh, down it goes. The double knees. Right to the back. The Messiah of the Backbreaker just finished Kevin Owens. No, what? Kevin Owens kicked out. Kevin Owens with the kick out. Uh, right at the nick. It's right at two, as a matter of fact. Not even two and a half. That goes to show how Kevin Owens is a very tough competitor in pure wrestling springboard crossbody. Kick to the back, but isn't affected by it. Kevin Owens is getting up. Oh, snapmare there by Strong himself. Here we go. Back to that. Back there. Going for the cover. And a kick out again at two. Now going for those elbow shots straight to the head. Looking to take it up to the top. Roderick Strong will stop at anything to get what he wants. We saw that when he won the nation's championship. That was an incredible moment in his career. Nobody expected it, especially when he defeated Cody Rhodes. Now he's looking to lock in a submission hold to defeat Kevin Owens, but Kevin Owens escapes out of it. Kevin Owens now with the huge back suplex. Oh, wait, hold on now. 
Looking to do the pop up power bomb early on in the matchup here. Not wasting any time. Not even going for the signature maneuver. Pop pop power bomb. Here we go. One, two, and Kevin Owens wins the match. Kevin Owens with that pop up power bomb. So vicious. It ends the match here tonight. Look at that right there. That replay sending him right down, crashing down right to the mat. The referee had no choice but to make the cover. Huge impact has been made. Well, getting a win off Roderick Strong, Kevin Owens. What a matchup by these two men that they put on. You can't deny Roderick Strong's huge fighting ability. Well, Kevin Owens was just the better man here tonight. Kevin Owens standing tall once again. Here we go, the main event of Pure Wrestling. Here comes Sami Zayn. Former Pure Wrestling Champion. Being in this matchup one on one with Aleister Black. Having a big match at the Royal Rumble, these two went at it. But at the end, ultimately, the winner was, of course, Bray Wyatt. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a huge matchup here tonight. They faced each other before. I heard they stole that show. But now, let's see if today they steal the show once again with each other here tonight. Sami Zayn, a former APW World Champion and a former Pure Wrestling Champion. Now we're going to see here tonight what these two have in stake for each other. As now Aleister Black makes his way in the ring. We already know the mysterious entrance that he provides. Here comes Aleister Black. Getting ready for the main event. Let's see if tonight he could finally win a match. Uh, this time a big top tier matchup. Aleister Black has been getting these wins as of late against his opponents, top tier opponents like Kevin Owens. Just to name one person. Aleister Black is the epitome of mystique. He's the epitome of mysteriousness here. I would like to thank everyone joining me right now that's watching Pure Wrestling. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, I want a bigger audience here for Pure Wrestling. Show them some love here. It's not just CJM all the time. I know CJM has been on a roll, but as of late, you know, but Pure Wrestling is trying their best, their very best. Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon, trust me, next season, they're trying their very best to provide a very unique, very equal universe mode. And here we go. Referee rings the bell as this match is underway. Oh, a toss by Aleister Black there, starting off the match very heavy. Using the big foot stomps down to Sami Zayn, and a big jawbreaker there. Off to the ropes. They go, but referee with a clean break there. Sami Zayn with an Irish whip. And Sami Zayn with a big kick. Oh, big drop kick. No. 
Alistair Black moves out of the way. Oh, big backhand. Another chops, more chops, another kick. My goodness, the offense of Alistair Black certainly leaving its mark on Sami Zayn's body. Now pulling him closer to the center of the ring there. Going for a big stop. Big jawbreaker there by Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn now, look at this maneuver. Looking like a small package type maneuver there. And Sami Zayn's gonna turn him over. Look at this, submission hold is gonna be applied to Aleister Black. Will he tap out here tonight in the main event? And no, he doesn't. Sami Zayn popping up very quickly here. Sami Zayn looking for a little springboard action here. For the main event, look at this springboard. Drop kick. I'm taking a, a, a page out of Kevin Owens' book from earlier here. Here we go, cover. One, two, no. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to point out the fact that uh, if you saw that match between Roderick Strong and Kevin Owens, Roderick Strong's uh, entrance, his Minotron, uh, the billboard, the lighting was all glitched. The Titantron was the only thing that wasn't, but uh, at, it, it goes to show you re recording live and uh, doing all this, there's still botches, uh, mistakes, even from an old game like this. Thank you, 2K, for everything. Uh, but here we go, Blue Thunderbomb by Sami Zayn. After those punches right to the face and a kick out by Aleister Black right at the last second. Aleister Black, oh wait, is he gonna make him tap here tonight? Is he gonna make Aleister Black tap? Here we go. Is he gonna tap out? Is that, no. What a quick escape from Aleister right here. Very impressive indeed. It's one of the three surviving men in the chamber. Al Aleister Black stood tall, but he fell to Randy Orton and Kenny Omega. <laughs> Sami Zayn taking advantage of a, of a downed Aleister Black, but Aleister Black yet again kicks out. Strikes to the back of the head there with that big drop kick. Flipping him over. Where is Sami Zayn going? Going up to the top. Big swan Todd. And now, wait, oh, look at this to the outside. Goes Aleister Black and Sami Zayn. Where's he going? Uh, to the ramp? I guess Sami Zayn's just calling him out. Be better hope that they don't get counted out right here, right now. Maybe adding a bit of punishment before returning back inside the ring. Very uh, wise of Sami Zayn, as I'd say. Hopefully a count out won't come into play right now. I really want to see this match end at least in a pinfall or submission. To have a fair match up here tonight for the main event. And they make it back in. And back suplex from Aleister Black. Gonna drag him to the center of the ring, but for what? Oh, for a cover here. Is it gonna catch him? Oh my goodness, Sami Zayn was not playing around. Not even a one count from Zayn and he kicked out. Oh, big kick to that leg there. Has to be careful, big snap mare. Now connecting with that drop kick to the back of the head. Aleister Black is on a roll here. Will he stay on Sami Zayn or will Sami Zayn get up? Oh wait, reversal by Aleister Black. Back suplex it again. 
Damage has been already applied, but look at this. Alistair Black looking to go up to the top. I don't know what he's looking for here. Probably, oh yes, this is a double foot, double foot stomp to the chest of Sami Zayn. Will this end it all? Is Sami Zayn done? Two, and a kick out right at two. Not even a two and a half. Sami Zayn's fighting spirit is popping out of him here today. Is he gonna hit another one? Oh no, he's going for a springboard maneuver. Springboard move. Oh, the knee right to the face. Oh, well, who's he mocking here? Looks like he's mocking the Royal Rumble winner. Sami Zayn is gonna fight back with those vicious forearms. Here comes Sami Zayn. Oh my goodness, look at this. Zayn. Oh, Mishkunoku driver, very smart by Sami Zayn. Now where's Sami Zayn going? He's gonna maybe look to call him up here. Hold on now. Sami Zayn, here it comes. Uh-oh, huge high cross body. Sami Zayn is really feeling it right now. He's calling him up. Sami Zayn, he's gonna do it. Here he comes. Haluva kick. Down goes Alistair Black. Knocked out with the Haluva kick. And it's over. Sami Zayn winning the main event for tonight's matchup. There goes that Haluva kick right there, right to the face of Aleister Black. Lights out, it was over. And that was a three count. Sami Zayn, very excited for his win here tonight. Very big win for him here tonight as the, the red marks of those kicks left on his chest. What a big fight. From that man, look at the capacity crowd here cheering for Sami Zayn. Huge win in the record books for this man right here. Ladies and gentlemen, there is the pure wrestling champion. After the Royal Rumble, there is Kenny Omega. What is the cleaner doing out here, especially with that cocky grin on his face that he has right now? Right when you think you have a good challenger for me you throw Randy Orton just when you think Randy Orton could beat me Randy Orton loses at the Royal Rumble ladies and gentlemen I told you I've been telling everyone from the beginning nobody can beat me nobody in this locker room has the guts to even beat me at the Royal Rumble I'll admit, Randy Orton did pit, put up a fight, but was it good enough? Absolutely not. Kenny Omega, the cleaner, has been ruling pure wrestling ever since he's gotten here. And now that I'm finally champion, all of you don't like it. They say I kill ratings for pure wrestling. Well, let me tell you something. If you think Randy Orton is a better wrestler or more interesting than Kenny Omega then you're sorely mistaken this is why he's not champion I'm gonna be champion till the end of this season and I will carry the championship to the end of season three as far as a rematch goes for Randy Orton at Wrestlemania I'm sorry buddy but get to the back of the line where you belong this is not your brand no 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 this is my brand the bullet clubs brand uh oh looks like he's brought the attention to vince mcmahon this is not good you have to assume some repercussions is about to be happening now kenny omega where do i start with you you have been cheating you have been disobeying the rules. How could you be champion like this? Cheating your way through everything. Listen, Kenny Omega, there is going to be repercussions for your actions. And I'm here to tell you that 
you don't make the rules around here. You can't do a damn thing about the rules here. We make the rules. You're it is going to be you versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Now, it is unclear at the time what's Bray Wyatt's decision. But all I know is that Randy Orton needs a rematch against you. And it will be at WrestleMania. But the stipulation is if any of your Bullet Club members interfere in your matchup, you, Kenny Omega, along with Cody Rhodes, will be stripped of your championship. You will no longer be pure wrestling champion. And on top of that, Cody Rhodes will no longer be nation's champion. So it's up to you, Kenny Omega. You play with the rules or do you want to break them? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the rules have been set. There you go, WrestleMania. It is going to be Randy Orton versus Kenny Omega. And uh, my God, Kenny Omega, just leave it alone. I mean... That's it. He just he makes the rules. You cannot break them. You can't break those rules. Oh wait, wait, Ken oh my god, what is the what Kenny Omega, what are you doing? Kenny Omega No. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. Oh god, the brain buster. Brain buster to Mr. McMahon. You gotta be kidding me. No, we need help. Don't do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. No, don't tell me he's going to hit this on Mr. McMahon. Don't tell me he's going to... No! Oh, God! The one-winged angel on Mr. McMahon! They just brought a second referee out here. Ladies and gentlemen, an official has just came in the ring, but Kenny Omega is brutally attacking him right now. I don't know about this, but Kenny Omega... Come on now. This is too much. Come on. Look, another official... Had, has made his way. Oh my goodness, come on. Something's just snapped in Kenny Omega. This is too much. And now he's taking out the other official. Down they all go. What? Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen. That's Bray Wyatt. What is Bray Wyatt doing here in pure wrestling? Oh my God, what? Is he challenging Kenny Omega for the pure wrestling championship at WrestleMania? What is going on? This is madness, what, what is happening? Kenny Omega does not even know what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Bray Wyatt, as you see here, meeting face to face with Kenny Omega himself. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. The stare down, look, the referee has to come in. Make sure these two doesn't don't get into a brawl here. Ladies and gentlemen, Bray Wyatt just staring at Kenny Omega. Bray Wyatt looking at the face of Kenny Omega and now is walking away. What does this mean? Does he want to challenge Kenny Omega for the championship? The way he looks back at Kenny Omega... I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends, subscribe for more, and I'll see you for CJM next week.